Hello gamers all over the world, I'm Antano Circus and I'm back! That's right, I'm gonna let you know in the next, in another community update, I believe it's community update 3, I'll let you know where I've been, what I've been doing, and what's possibly in the future for a little war game or for this particular show, but in the meantime, there's some good news, because the focus of this, the 11th episode of Welcome to the Little War Game, is Little Wolf Game, so called, because in version 1.9, which we are now in, uh, using an old version so we can show the point. In version 1.9, and among other fixes, nerfs, and buffs, Jibs, Senfcats, or however you know him, has added wolves to the game. And they have low stats, but they're very quick to be made, and they're very quick units. They're about as fast on the ground as dragons. And that shakes up everything. And after version 1.9, version 1.91 was released, which reduced the cost of the wolves' den that they're made out of, and gave them some small buffs in terms of the amount of time that it took for them to be built, and the amount of gold it took for them to be built. So there's not going to be too deep of an analysis today. Today we're just going to run through about four games, just showing nothing but wolves. Oh man, it's fantastic. It's great to be back. I had a good vacation. I'm back here with family. And there's nothing quite like being back with family after you've been away from them for a while. Trust me. If any of you out there shaking your heads, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Load. L load? Load. Lo load faster? Is it, is it loading? Come on! Ah, did I just miss it? Did I whiff it? Did I just not do it correctly? We're going to try again. Come on. Come on. Are you kidding me? No! Why are you doing this? Ah, uh, let me check something. Nope. No more of you. No more of you. There we go. Oh no, I did it twice. It's gonna load. Okay, there we go. Alright, now here we go. We have, up in the top left corner, we have Yummy Blah Blah. I don't know how he got that name, but he's going to be our intrepid wolfing player today. Oh no, it loaded twice, as predicted. And in the bottom right, it's the person who allowed me so graciously to use this replay. We have Burke. One of the changes in version 1.9 is that instead of five workers, you now start with six. And another one of the benefits is that now you start with 300 gold instead of 200. Now both of these players are going to do something that seems very familiar. And by very familiar, I mean if you've been playing Little War Game or just maybe watching a couple of games. Just about every standard game that has happened since the change in the patch that made so workers have to build on the outside means that everyone is now going for one barracks expand. There's the barracks from Yummy Blah Blah, and sure as all get out, there's the one for Burke. Hi, Burke. Now, normally what happens in these situations is that you go one barracks expand, or possibly two barracks expand, but more commonly one barracks expand, on a map like this, like Crimson Woods. See? There's no easily accessible or easily defended place for you to grab a quick expansion. It's not the ring. It's not the Route 1.5. It's not Lost Temple. All of those maps that are otherwise good, there's not a really quick and easy expansion. So, both players are going for one barracks expand. And here we see Yummy Blah Blah going to get all the good scouting information, playing some mind games. Oh man, I must be psychic. Look at that. The text is already saying what I'm saying. Mind games. <coughs> now, something to note. Look at this worker. It was sent out around 55 seconds, which, you know, might happen to be a good number to remember. It's 55 seconds. And he got a good scout off on the main base, confirming that Burke is in fact doing the normal standard thing. But of course, the standard thing is no longer correct, because we have moved away from the wolfless world into a world of wolves. Another thing that would normally be correct, but it's not in this unique situation. Notice this. Notice how Burke is using two riflemen to kill or almost kill Yummy Blah Blah's riflemen. And here he says, very matter-of-factly, oh snap, I lost. 
And normally, it's true that if you're going for one barracks expand against another player, and you end up being behind by, oh, a rifleman or two, that advantage quickly snowballs, and then you get forced in your base, you're forced to build towers, pull workers, it's just all bad. Now notice this, though. Yummy Blah Blah has correctly ascertained that we are not in a previous version. We have wolves. And what is the proper test of wolves or any new unit? Well, in Little War Game and every other game where something new gets continuously added, it's to try and kill your opponent. Nah. <coughs> but rather than try and kill his opponent by playing a long, drawn-out game, Yummy Blah Blah has determined that, eh, I have 160 actions per minute to average out over the course of a game, so I think I'll go for one barracks expand and get some wolves. Now this is a very smart idea when you think about it. Wolves, even in version 1.9, lose out per cost and per supply against riflemen, assuming of course that they can get us around or they can get a pretty decent advantage. Now Yummy Blah Blah has riflemen, which are going to be able to snipe off any retreating units, such as the riflemen that will be running away from the wolves. In the meantime, wolves. Ah, uh, like we said, one of the benefits of wolves is that they're space blockers. Not as much of a block as this supply block. Oh, there we go. Yummy blah blah on top of everything. But, they're space blockers. They can stop retreating paths because they're faster than barracks units. They can easily surround Burke's riflemen and contribute to this all in. Now notice this, Yummy Blah Blah is already saying this is not completely all in as much as I'm putting into this. I'm looking to expand at some point. Burke is upset because he loses the scout to confirm whether or not this is a really aggressive opening. <coughs> and Yummy Blah Blah moves out. Now he has a, a worker, two wolves, and a couple of riflemen. The riflemen are going to try and get on one side while the wolves get on the other side. A flank or a surround is optimal. Here we go. A little dance of units. Burke goes back. Burke goes up. Burke goes back again. He tries to engage. And, oh, there's wolves. Oh, that's bad. Yummy blah blah. Even getting rid of the suspense. <coughs> Letting everyone know that there are wolves. I think there's a spectator in this game. And Yummy Blah Blah sees something that lets him know that this attack has to do a lot of decent damage. The first thing he sees is that Burke has an expansion. The second thing he sees is that he does not yet have his own expansion. So, while he's continuously making units, look, note the rifleman, note the wolf, he has to continue to make units and probably get his own castle in the meantime because he is down four workers. So he is going to take with his heavy APM and his smart use of wolves as positional blockers and as surrounders to get some free shots on these riflemen. Notice in that last engagement how the wolves in the back line stopped the riflemen from retreating too effectively. Notice how Burke is continually having to pull workers in order to deal with this. Wolves actually are about as strong as, a, I would say, two wolves and three workers are about equivalent. I think that's a good estimate. But notice how the discrepancy in the worker count is slowly but surely bending in Yummy Blah Blah's favor. Look, he already managed to snipe off one worker and reduce a few to very critical health. Look, there's one right there, Bob. There's another one right there, Joe. They're not doing too well. He's only down four workers and he's starting his own catapult. Now, the natural contestant against such a build as this, as Burke sees it, are soldiers and workers. Because you just pull the workers and they're pretty sturdy and you use the soldiers because they can take out the wolves easily, no problem. But there's one downside to this, and that's that wolves are so fast, they do not have to take a disadvantageous fight. So look at this, look how the wolf is being used to force back the rifleman, he got a nice kill. Look how he's able to do some free damage and force up some shots from the rifleman. And notice this, we're over from, there we go, we're over from uh, being slightly ahead in units to being 
dominating in units. Look at Yummy Blah Blah. He has four riflemen and a wolf. Wolves, although being a very small part of this army, are definitely the most an integral part of this push because they force the riflemen back. They force kiting, which allows his riflemen to get in free damage. And of course, Yummy Blah Blah is pretty dang good on his micro and is keeping on top of his macro. Look at all the snipes he's pulled off. Burke, due to continually having to pull units due to his interrupted economy, is now only two units ahead in terms of workers. He is heavily down in terms of army. And the worker pulls are just going to get less and less effective. As Yummy Blah Blah is going to be able to easily and pretty, pretty nicely, I think. Oh, look at the mic. Oh, well, sometimes... That's one downside. Sometimes your micro succeeds you and sometimes it fails. Look